she so, so shall you reap. That's right. The same treatment that Sophia Catwell gets. When's her next appointment? Could you fit me in then, please? Perfect. No, no, let's keep it a surprise. The name's Regina Simpson. I'm staying at the Dubarry Hotel, Santa Barbara. The number is 555-6134. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've been most helpful. Gina, what are you doing here? It's a good thing I brought breakfast. I doubt they have room service here. Patty, take your coffee. With a straw? I'm sorry, I can't join you. I'm late for an appointment. <laughs> well, you know what they say, Pamela. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, I'll have to get some at the spa. Don't tell me you're going to that place in Ojai where they wrap you in seaweed and put mud all over you. Well, I certainly have nothing to lose, do I? You have everything to lose, Pamela. What if someone recognizes they you? They won't. And why don't we just stay here, we'll break out the croissants, we'll have some coffee, and we'll figure out how to deal with Cece. I'm sorry, we'll have to do that later when I return from our... Pamela. This is for your own good. Who is it? Is the housekeeping, Signora? Yeah. Just what is it that you're doing? I don't answer that. It's pretty obvious you're trying to sneak away. Don't be ridiculous. You know it's dangerous for me to stay in any one place too long. I'll keep in touch the moment I get settled. Likely story. Don't kid a kidder, Pamela. I learned that the hard way. I don't know what you're talking about. You're either running away from me or you're running away from someone. I'm getting awfully tired of your silly accusations and stupid insinuations. I don't have to answer to you or to anyone else. You listen to me, Pamela. I have an awful lot at stake here. And this disappearing act of yours may have worked in New York, but it's not going to... I reek of lilacs. We hatched this plan against CC together. Don't you understand that? I do admit that we do have certain interests in common. But from now on, Gina, I will not tolerate your hysterical outbursts or silly empty threats. Empty? I can turn you in any time. Yes, but you wouldn't. I wouldn't bet on it. Wouldn't you? The moment my identity is revealed, it won't suit your plans anymore. From now on, Gina, remember, you're the silent partner in this operation. I know someone's in there. I heard voices, so open up. Oh, my God, it's Sophia. Maybe she'll go away. Oh, no. No, not that one. She's like a bulldog in more ways than one. She won't leave the other side of that door till she finds out who's in here. Well, I'm going out the way. No, no, you're not. Just go in the bathroom. Hide behind the shower curtain. Well, what's she going to say when she finds you here? Don't worry about me. I've got my son. I'm here. not leaving until you open this door. You know, Pam, I... Pamela. I'm sorry, Pamela. I just can't figure out why Sophia showed up here. I mean, is there... Do you have any idea why she would come here? Could she connect you to this place? She was at the spa where I was earlier, but I'm certain she didn't see me. Oh, you must be wrong. She must have had you followed. No, I'm positive she didn't see me. Well, she was here for a reason. She's probably telling Cece every detail of her little visit. Well, I should get out of here. Well, uh, don't just go off half cock. You can't just take off out of here. we got to figure out where. Starlight Plaza. That's a good place. Oh, do you think I'll be safe then? I certainly hope so. Can you imagine the three Mrs. C.C. Capwells all in one room at one time? That makes the two Mrs. Grenvilles look like the Bobsy Why did you take such a huge gamble, tempting her to go into the bathroom looking for C.C.? She could have found me. Yeah, but she didn't. I love gambles. Pamela, you seem like a high roller yourself. You better get out of here. What about my things? Well, don't worry. I'll bring them to you later. You just get yourself over to the hotel. You can't hang around. C.C. can show up any minute. Come on. You might as well trust me. You don't have much of a choice.